In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set the home city on your Casio G-Shock Master of G LAN Mudmaster. This is the GSG 100 watch, module 5562 from Casio. So this watch, you want to make sure you have your home city set correctly because your home city has to be correct in order for your world times to be correct. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, I'm not going to get into all the specifics about how to set the time and all of that. I'm just going to show you the home city. There's two values you really want to check here, your home city and your DST value for your home city. And that's what we're going to be looking at. Now, first, take a look at my uh, watch. My hands, I'm at basically, what, 610, 609. Um, when we set the home city, this should adjust if you choose a different time zone than what you're currently set for. So we'll take a look at that. Let's start by pressing and holding the top left button on the watch. You're going to hold it for a couple of seconds. After a couple of seconds, you should see set blinking here. You should see a blinking indicator over here in your four boxes on the bottom left. And then you should see your current home city displaying in the bottom. First, let me apologize. If you have this watch, you'll know because it's got the inverted colors, it's kind of hard. Hopefully you're going to be able to see these displays okay. My current home city is set to Anchorage. Now what we need to do is we need to use either the top right button or the bottom right button, and we're going to move through the different city codes. If you want to move to the west, you will use your top right button. If you want to move to the east, you'll use the bottom right button. You can use either one. It'll basically cycle through all of them. But in my case, I know that the current home city is set for Anchorage, which is west of me, so I want to move to the east it'll be a little bit quicker using the bottom right button. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press it. Every time I press it, it will show me a different city code. So LAX, if you wait a second, it will give you the description. There's Los Angeles. Some of the city codes are kind of self-explanatory. Some of them you might not know what it is. You're gonna keep cycling through until you get to the city code that's closest to your location. For me, that is Mexico City. Once I've got my city code set correctly, I could just press the top left button to save and get out of there. What I always recommend doing is go ahead and press the bottom uh, left button and check your DST setting. This blinking indicator, you'll see it up here, it's showing DST, it's blinking, and then down here it shows me what my setting is for DST. This is your setting for your home city. You want to make sure you have this set correctly as well. In my case, off is correct. If I needed to adjust that, I would press the bottom left, uh, bottom right button and I could toggle it on. But I want to keep it off. So now I know I've got my home city set correctly and I have the DST value for my home city set correctly. I can simply press the top left button to save all of my changes and I've successfully adjusted the home city on my G-Shock watch. You'll notice before we were at like six, 09. Now all of a sudden my time is showing for 9.11. Now again, we didn't set the time. All we've done here is we've adjusted the home city on the watch. So once we set our time, our world time values will be correct. I've done videos in the past that show you how to set the time, how to use the world time feature, but this is how you set your home city. I hope the video helps.